Hey. Yes. It's good. It's no, good. but but we are one. I'm told the mic is. You know. You should have read the half. The mother read the mother. You can start the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do half the night. You can do half the night. The mic is on. Hello? You ready? Yeah, huh? yeah. Okay, um, it was uh, the first meeting of Azimio Summit uh, this year. And as you can see, Azimio is all here uh, except Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, who is out uh, of the country. He's traveling to South Sudan today. That's why he's not here. Um, there's been a lot of speculation in the media. Oh, Azimio is splitting. Azimio is convening meetings which have not been held, and so on and so forth. That is all trash, media propaganda. So we have got a statement which is going to be read here uh, by Honorable Eugene Wamalwa and Madam Martha Karua. Eugene. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of uh, the press, uh, this is our statement from the Azmio Summit, and it's titled Azmio Marches On. The summit, which is the top decision making organ of Azmio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition Party, has held a meeting today under the chairmanship of the Right Honorable Raila Odinga. Being the first this year, the meeting focused on four main agenda items, namely review of the previous year, briefing on the government's budget-making process, position on public interest litigation, and the way forward. In attendance, as you can see before you, uh, apart from our leader, we have uh, uh, his deputy, the Honorable Martha Karua, uh, yours truly, Honorable Mwangi Wairia, Honorable Wickley for Paranya, Honorable Peter Munya, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, Honorable Nderitu Muredi, Honorable Wajakoya, and Honorable Opio Wandai. Absent with apology was the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, who's currently in the Sudan for other engagements, but who spoke to our leader this morning and sent his apologies. And the meeting has gone on with his blessings, and his views have been incorporated in the resolutions that we'll be reading to you shortly. After lengthy deliberation, the summit resolved the following. As Mio remains satisfied with its activities that were able to focus on the excesses of the Kenya Kwanzaa regime that has made life miserable for the greater majority of Kenyans. Because of Azmio's focus and steadfastness, the cost of living 
as a government-induced pain is understood to be a direct result of Ruto's policies and not only global environment or previous regime. So this is purely Ruto's failed policies and it should not be blamed on any global environment or Uhuru Kenyatta's regime almost two years later. The coalition is satisfied with the work of standing up for Kenyans and commits to continue holding the regime to account and to put blame where it belongs on areas like the ever-rising taxes, the deteriorating relationship with our neighbors, the rampant corruption in government, the tribalism in public service, the deterioration of the Kenya shilling, and general deterioration of our economy. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime, and not the people of Kenya, are to blame for these misfortunes that have ended up hurting innocent Kenyans. As Mio deeply regrets the loss of lives during the peaceful protests, continues to hold the government responsible for these needless deaths, and promises that the deaths shall never be in vain. The coalition has weathered several vigorous attempts by the rural admi Ruto administration to create disunity and splits in its ranks. Unity is an achievement the coalition will guard jealously to be able to continue fighting for Kenyans as one united front. Because the coalition has been able to stand up and stand together, Kenyans have regained their voice, their courage, and are standing up to the bullies in this regime. Kenyans are standing up in very remote parts of the country to tell off the government on its lies and its insensitivity to the people. We encourage Kenyans to continue manifesting courage and call out this regime. We will stand with all Kenyans expressing such courage and determination to take back our country. The coalition is happy and proud of the performance of its members of parliament and critical and all, on all critical national issues. When it has mattered, even where the members have been outnumbered, they have expressed themselves clearly and candidly on such issues as the Finance Act 2023, and Kenyans will remember that there were 88 loyal members of Azmio who stood with them, and there were 176 who voted yes, and that is why they are suffering today. Kenyans will remember their voices also of Azmio legislators on the housing levy, on the deployment of the police to Haiti, and the general state of the economy. Over time, we have been vindicated. May I now invite my senior the Honorable Martha Karua, to read the rest of the statement. Thank you very much. The summit had a robust discussion on strengthening Azimio and its constituent parties. The coalition partners have been able to agree on fundamental strategies and tactical positions. We agreed that the coalition is only as strong as its constituent parties. The summit, therefore, reaffirmed its commitment to the renewal and strengthening of all the constituent parties through various activities, including members' recruitment drives, delegates' conferences, PGs, and NEC meetings. All constituent parties have committed to pursuing a common program of action that addresses the challenges the country is going through and that also help to advance and defend the gains of democracy. As the mayor remains one and is here to stay, committed to shared values that include accountability, integrity, public participation, good governance, respect for the constitution and rule of law, social justice, and non-discrimination. On public litigation, the summit agrees that the cases coming up under public 
interest litigation address fundamental concerns in which Kenyans feel overlooked, mistreated, and ignored by a regime steeped in impunity and unilateral actions. Some of the cases include the Jubilee Party case and the ruling by the Speaker of the National Assembly forming multiple parliamentary groups within this particular political party, that is Jubilee. This is a real threat to the foundations of our attempts to create a strong multi-party democracy. It threatens to return Kenya to a single party era. The housing levy is a threat to livelihoods and incomes in the same way the plan to unilaterally sell public assets without the participation of the owners who are the people of Kenya. We will stand in solidarity with the petitioners in the public interest litigation cases on these issues. Azimio stands for the rule of law and supports the need for an independent and professional judiciary. Subsequently, we demand that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must keep its hands off the judiciary. We take note of the support expressed by the United States government for the Ruto regime to appeal, that, to appeal against the ruling on the deployment of police to Haiti. It is our hope that all parties shall respect the independence of the judiciary and that foreign interests will keep off our national affairs. As Mio remains on the way forward, as Mio remains extremely disturbed by the worsening cost of living, the ever rising and reckless taxes by Sakayo, the collapsing national currency, the chaos in the education sector, the tribalism in public service, and the return of mega corruption. The summit has committed to seek other ways and means to press the regime to listen to the cries of the people. The litigation will only be one such avenue. Other ways are being worked on whose ultimate goal is to force the regime to be sensitive to the tribulations of the people and to enable the people to take sh such steps as they may deem necessary, remembering that they have the residual power and sovereignty for the people to be able to rid themselves of this yoke put by the regime. Just like the donkey spoke to Balaam in the Bible, the donkey is now telling Zakayo, enough is enough. We thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.